Thanks for being here. So I met uh, your your classmates, Emma and Jacqueline and uh, Cameron, and they're just amazing kids as you are. And uh, I shouldn't even call you kids. You're young adults, and you're doing so much for all of us. I mean, finally, it seems like someone's making enough noise that uh, it's going to make a change. So, and that it looks like it's your generation. So thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for everything you're doing. Um, First of all, no, you're backed by all of us. <laughs> Everyone is behind you, so thank you for that. You lost your best friend, Joaquin, right? Is that yeah. his name? Yeah. Um, and uh, so it makes it even more personal for you. Right. Well, Joaquin, I say to everyone, I can't imagine the impact that he would be making right now if he were still here. And this is like, I'm like, 10 percent, <laughs> you know? Well, you're not. Um, and I'm sure that he's very proud of you. And I'm sure he's watching and probably giving you strength whenever you start feeling weak. He's, he's that other 80 percent that you need, which is 90 percent, which means that you would need. <laughs> 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 okay. I really need to go back to school. Um, so and how is, how is his family doing? Something his father said struck us. And what he told, he told my dad, the difference between them, him and my father in this fight, is that he doesn't have the fear anymore. My dad still has four kids. Uh, Joaquin's father doesn't. So that's why he has this strength, because it's just unimaginable. Yeah. You went back to school recently, which had to be really hard to walk down those halls again. How was that the first day? It's a necessary thing to do because even if it is really hard for us to go back, being there, being teenagers, being high schoolers, even if it's just those fleeting seconds where you still get to feel like how you used to, you still get to feel normal, those are the things that I think we need to, to treasure and to keep doing. Do you, I mean, when you're in school and if you hear a, a loud noise, does it, does it do something to you? I mean, I would think that anything, I can't imagine you know, anywhere, but especially in school, if you hear something, do, do, does it take you right back to that? Yeah, it's, there's a, a textbook that falls off a desk, the whole class jumps. Every time somebody knocks on the door now, I, if, if everyone's in the class and the teacher says, who is that? There's that moment where I think, it's a school shooter. Which, even if that isn't necessarily logical, that's still, that's the thought process. Yeah, of course. Every loud noise, fire alarms, everything that even is slightly reminiscent of that day now, it just sends me into this panic mode. I think it sends all of us into a panic mode. Were you activists before this in any way? I never considered myself an activist. Even the first couple of days after this happened, when people started saying, like, you guys are these activists, you guys are heroes, I'm like, no, we're not. We're just, we're grieving and we're trying to be heard. Like, I didn't think that that title was even deserved. Even now, it feels strange to be told that we're inspirations or anything because we're just doing this because we have to, because we have to keep doing it or there's nothing else to do at this point. Yeah, well, and it, it is helping the grieving process probably to keep busy and to know you're doing something for Joaquin and, and you know, it, it just is, it makes me sad that you have to do this, but I'm, I'm happy that you are. And, and like I said, we are all behind you. And we're going to talk about the march and how uh, everyone can get involved and be a part of this, because there is power in numbers, and you all are going to do that. You sat down with uh, the president just days after this happened. And what was that like? Did you know, how, how much notice did you get that you were going to do that? Well, they called me the day before and said, this is the White House. I said, no, it's not. <laughs> and then they said, no, yes, it is. And they sent me a picture of their card and everything. And I said, wow, so what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and they, uh, they said they wanted me to come with a group of people from Parkland and talk to the president about our country and the state it's in. And um, even seconds before I was handed the microphone in the White House, I had no idea what I was going to say. And I sort of just slowed down. And I told myself, I'm just going to tell them who I am and why I'm here. And that's, people have been telling me the impact that what I said has made. And I think that's just because it came directly from my heart. I didn't have anything prepared. I just, 
spoke what I felt. Yeah. There's been a lot of changes. There have been a lot of stores that stopped selling uh, assault rifles. There are a lot of, uh, the minimum uh, age now has been raised to 21 before you can get a, a gun. Um, so you're making, you know, changes, which is great. Um, the march is happening this weekend. Six million dollars was donated to the march. Over four million donated to the official Stoneman Douglas uh, GoFundMe page. So what do you want to tell people specifically about the march? I mean, the march, first of all, marches are expensive. Found that out recently. They're really, really expensive to put on. But um, the march for us, it's, it's this, this uh, display of unity amongst everyone because everybody is uniting under this cause. There's so many people now that are being vocal and outspoken when they weren't necessarily that way before. Um, but it's more, that, it's more than that. It's a chance to not be ignored because when there are hundreds of thousands of people marching on Washington, saying do something, it's kind of hard to ignore that when it's such a loud and clear voice. And that's, that's our goal here, is to have that loud and clear voice. And you will have a very loud and clear voice when, when you can go to the polls and vote as well. So you can make a big difference. Uh, and if, if no one is paying attention to you now, they will when you vote. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a good thing that you're going to get mm -hmm. a lot of people and, and have loud voices to reach a lot of people. To get more information about March for Our Lives, you can go to our website. And if you can't make it to the March, you can donate 